Welcome to Cocktails at Home presented by Patron. My name is Steven and I'm one of the mixologists with Patron Spirits. Today we're going to be creating the perfect fresh lime margarita. You ready? Let's get into it. This is going to be your new favorite cocktail because of how simple it is. Got to start off obviously with fresh squeezed lime. What I like to do is kind of give it a little bit of a roll on a hard surface just to kind of break up the cells and you're going to get a little bit more juice out of it. Split it all the way down the middle and then you're going to use a juicer. This is the preferred type. This is what we call an elbow juicer um, because it's going to kind of turn the lime inside out and press out some of the oils from the skin as well, which gives you much more flavorful margaritas. Um, the ones that you kind of twist on there only really squeezes the flesh um, and you don't get any of those oils as well. So if you can, try and use one of these. For one lime, we're typically going to expect to get about an ounce of juice out of. So I got a half ounce out of that one. I'm going to just press it a little bit more. I only want three quarters of an ounce for this one. Like half a squeeze and there we have it. Perfect. I'm going to add that right into my shaker. Next, I'm gonna add in my Patron Silver. For this, I'm gonna use an ounce and a half. This is an additive free tequila. This is made the right way, and so when you don't cut corners, you don't need to add anything to your tequila. You're gonna have the absolute purest expression of tequila in your margarita. The next part is our secret weapon. This is Patron Citronge. And for this, we're gonna use a whole ounce right in on top. So Patron Citronge Orange, we're gonna add an ounce of that in there. And then finally, just for a hint of sweet to balance out with the lime juice, we're gonna add in a quarter ounce of simple syrup. I said finally, but one last thing, I don't like salt on the rim of a margarita. I find that you can run out of it too fast or maybe you put in too much or it gets into your cocktail. I like to add a pinch of it right into the shaker and make sure that I've got a perfect hint of salinity and that salt is going to cut down on the acidity of your lime juice and really make it for a tasty cocktail. Next we're going to add in our ice. At this point I'm going to add ice into my rocks glass as well. And we're ready to go. Quick tap on the top to seal it up and we're ready. Once it gets nice and cold on the outside and you can feel it, it's ready to go. Quick tap to open it up. And then you're gonna use a strainer to hold back all of that ice. You've got an icy cold cocktail over fresh ice. Absolutely perfect, fully balanced. It doesn't need anything else. For me, I love a garnish on a cocktail. You can add a lime wedge or for me, I really prefer a lime wheel. I don't need to be able to squeeze any more juice in, so I don't have a need for a wedge. I really think that this is kind of perfected in this way. So just for garnish, add a nice lime wheel on the side. So while this fresh lime margarita is served on the rocks, the version blended with ice is no less classic or tasty. So what about you? Do you like it blended or over ice? And there you have it, the fresh lime margarita. Comment below and let me know if you are team blended or team rocks. And be sure to click below to discover more recipes just like this.